We're at Sydney Motorsport Park for the Gulf Western Oils Roll Racing Sydney State of Origin. Now, roll racing in Sydney is usually pretty big on any given night, but tonight is next level. There's a whole bunch of tough cars that have come down from Queensland to take on the best cars in Sydney, hence State of Origin. Let's go check out some cars and take a look at the action. Let's go. <laughs> wow, and he got out of that early. All right, so we all know at Roll Racing Sydney, if you get the number one garage, that means you're the reigning champ of the last event. David Anton's here, bitch please. That means one thing, right? You took the last one. That's right, yeah, I did, yeah. Now, you've been trying for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's been a while. I wasn't always trying to win it, but yeah, it just ended up lining up. Yeah. So obviously, car's doing really well. Obviously, GDR Festival, another big eight second pass for you. Where, where are you going from here, mate? Um, just keep it the way it is, just to keep doing what I'm doing and street driving it and yeah, that's about it. Mate, some big contenders here tonight. Uh, I know that, I know how I'd be feeling if I was about to line anyone here up, but like what are your predictions for tonight? What do you think's going to happen? Like who's going to be the one to watch? Um, it's just, it's not necessarily the fastest car that'll win, it's just the most consistent car and it's luck of the draw with breakages. Um, I think all, all the cars are really stringed. Um, on, they're on a fine line, so it's just a matter of whose car can hold together and end up with a win, yeah. Awesome, now good luck tonight, all right? Sweet, thank you. I always go looking for familiar faces when I'm here to catch up with friends, but like Omar's probably way too familiar now. Uh, Con's not here, all right? What's the go? He's on the runner on me, mate. You, you've left you on your own. He has. <laughs> nah, all good. How many cars you got here tonight? What's happening? Just the two. Um, Adrian's 32 GDR. Yeah. It's got Dave's old setup in it, 1300 horsepower. And most of his new car we just finished off, the 35, so that makes 1100. 1100? Yeah. Just, so it's just a normal 35, really? Normal 35, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we all know Aaron from Precision Racing. Um, obviously, everything on his, you know what he's done on our channel. You've seen what he's done at Kudamundra. You've seen what he's done at Roll Racing. The big question is, what's going to happen tonight? Tonight? Well, I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I've been stuck in his garage <laughs> looking at laptops all night. So I think that was Tony in Hurricane. Yeah, I know, so it's moving. It seems to be moving. Yeah, I think I don't know if traction's there tonight. We have, it is a bit cold. It's cold, but we haven't been pulling too much out of the all drive cars, so they, they seem to be getting down. So, yeah. Now you've got cars here even on the other camp, right? You've got Queensland team cars here with the Lambo, you've got New South Wales. What's going to happen there? Is there going to be a rivalry or what? To, to, to be honest, I think they're still, they're still batting for us, right? <laughs> so, but the thing is that they're in a different garage, so I haven't seen them all night. Oh, wow. So there's a, I think there's a, the PR16 GDR for Alex and um, Chris Metcalf in the Hurricane. They're doing, I think they're doing well. I mean, I haven't had to see them, so... Um, but they're all good contenders, so, hey, they're flying the flag for us regardless. Obviously, Tony's car and George's car are going to be one of the two of the big ones to watch. Who would you say is going to be your toughest competition if you had to pick? Oh, man, I, to be honest, not, no... Sh I don't even know who's here. <laughs> Wait, I, I... Laptop only. I'm so... Yeah. Man, all I know is it's a huge night. It's going to be killer. Yeah, awesome. Good luck, man. Thanks. Don't you just love it when you bump into famous people at the racetrack, like yeah. professional race car drivers flying around Australia, winning races and trophies? How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. It's very good to be here. Uh, not the usual vibe I'm uh, I'm used to at the track, but uh, yeah, love it. More uh, less suits and more track suits. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with the man, the myth, the legend, and all of the objectives that I can use to describe him, Michael Coble. How are you going, mate? 
Yeah, not bad. No. <laughs> All right, tonight is probably, would you say, one of the biggest nights in terms of serious cars here? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Man, every car's crazy here. It's <laughs> Let me guess, the air con's on, the music's going, streetcar, right? Not quite, but almost. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cold here. It's not Queensland weather, is it? No, nah, absolutely not, and it's uh, pretty slippery. You've probably got an extra five pound of boost, too. Yeah, we'll try. We're we'll probably going to need it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, this man needs no introduction. It's Bill. You know him from owning Strat, which is now Psycho 32. I know he's built another car, but you're back behind the wheel of the R32 tonight, right? Yeah, one of them nights. We've got to give it a go, man. <laughs> I love watching you drive that yeah. thing. I've been out there when you're nearly on the grass and facing towards me out of control. Never lift, right? No, nah, never lift, mate. <laughs> Stay on, not always. Good luck tonight, bro. Good luck. Good luck. No good luck, mate. Have a good night. Field reporter Muhammad Khan. Hey boys, uh, he's got doing? he's got all the insights and the intelligence behind which car's going to do what. What's your predictions for tonight, mate? That Beast 35 looks really good on yep. point. So it's a very strong contender. We've got R87. We know we've got our money on him, but <laughs> let's see what the other boys can bring to the table. With so many big hitters in attendance, many were on kill mode. This meant that a few big names didn't make it to eliminations but there were still plenty of big cars battling it out to try and make the finals. The highest place Queensland car was Alex's Beast R35 GTR, although it was built in New South Wales by Precision Racing. The semi-finals saw Matt's Audi R8 with Precision Racing Stage 1 Plus Twin Turbo Kit go up against Anthony Matuk driving Ibi's R87 R32 GTR. Adrian in GTRB 32 from Croydon Racing Developments had the buy run, but he would then go up against Anthony Matuk in the finals. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna make this very very clear, right? Anthony said he's coming here. He said I will not lose. I must win, and I'm gonna win, right? Yeah, I was at a, I was at a wedding. The boys done my heading, so I'm here. We gave it a couple of nice runs, and we won again. 
Mate, there were some pretty cool cars down here from Queensland. Was there anyone you were worried about? Is there anyone you wanted to get? How did it go for you in the night? The only guy that worries me is God. No one else. <laughs> That's Amen. all. Very, very simple. <laughs> Bring what you got, no stories. Obviously, it's pretty cold tonight. How hard was traction? Was it a handful or what? <laughs> as, as, you, as you can see, it's, yeah. You had to steer it every pass. It, was, it wasn't a nice run, but it's fun. Mate, it was wild. The crowd was cheering. Um, and what do you think? Up against CID in the final. <laughs> they need about 400 horsepower more. <laughs> but yeah, well done, boys. Well done, CRD. Well, well done. Hello, Herman. Undisputed, mate. Undisputed, as we always do. All right, here's the next big question. What's next? I'm um, Kudamandra. Oh. There you go. <laughs> All right, you had, uh, you had the odds stacked against you on that one, didn't you, Adrian? But I tell you what, you must be still pretty happy you made the final, right? Happy, but... <laughs> Not content, yeah. I, I want that next. <laughs> of all the cars you had to go against, so you kind of flew under the radar. Everyone was talking about who their favourites were, who's going to be the one to beat, who to watch, and I don't think anyone actually mentioned your name during all of that, but I saw one run and went, ooh, hang on. They know I'm always <laughs> like, I like to fly under all the time. Not anymore. <laughs> now you're finished, mate. Now you're finished, but well done, man. That was awesome work. Thank you.